I, I think it's a an assumption uh, on our part to believe that Caleb Williams is a lock to go number one overall. Um, I, he may be the consensus, uh, and I hesitate to even lie. use the word consensus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm not you lying. I'm not lying. Somebody, but you have to reveal your sources. I know you're lying. But anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's interesting. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. I'm listening. I, this I, is I, I, informed. I hesitate. I hesitate. No, wait, speculation, no. folks. <laughs> no, informed speculation is when Michael Holly spent uh, the Saturday before Super Bowl 36 with Bill Belichick and Bill Belichick gave him his game plan for the Rams and it turned up turned up in Michael Holly's column that Sunday morning. <laughs> how to how to put that's informed speculation. Um, <laughs> what I'm saying is um, I have to say consensus because consensus would you know suggest because there's a lot of people that you know aren't all in on Caleb Williams that 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 think Jaden Daniels is right there um, that it maybe even like Drake may. All I'm saying is Ryan Poles, first and foremost, and he understands what I'm talking about, about situational um, or circumstantial or system quarterbacks, as in, you know, everybody wants the next Patrick Mahomes as Caleb Williams has been billed to be, but they, they, they conveniently forget the situation that Patrick Mahomes stepped into. And not to say he couldn't have been great somewhere else, but it really helped to walk into the stability and the infrastructure and, and, and the supporting cast that he was able to inherit in, 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 in Kansas City. Likewise, what Ryan Poles first and foremost has done, um, <laughs> going back to the nesting analogy, is gender neutral. Okay? You know what you're having? No, we want to be surprised. But this, but we got a we got a baby room already, okay? Right. So whether we draft Caleb Williams, says Ryan Poles, or or Jaden Daniels, or Drake May. Okay, we still we got it. We, we got it ready for whatever quarterback comes steps in to succeed and whichever quarterback comes to Chicago. I, I mean, I'm I, I like to fancy myself as something of an NFL historian. Usually when a quarterback is taken number one overall, they have to be a savior and they have to bear the burden of an organization that's probably not ready for them. You know, in most in most circumstances, I think I think Indianapolis is an exception because remember Peyton got hurt. And then they and then they bottomed out when Peyton got hurt and luck came in and I don't think his situation was bad in Indianapolis and they might have, they might have been a playoff no. team that first year. Which they I did. They were like a playoff team that first year. Yeah. Yep. Okay. They were. So, I, but I don't know of a better situation that a number one overall pick quarterback, be it Caleb Williams or somebody else, has, has walked into than the one that Ryan Poles has set up for his for his next quarterback. So when it comes to whether it is Caleb Williams or not, I, I think it will be Caleb Williams. But I'm just saying I could see I could easily see a world in which I don't know Washington, you know, um, and an ownership group that's that's new and fresh and exciting and uh, with Magic Johnson and, and, and his L.A. ties um, and, and, and the super and the superstar, you know, DNA that he recognizes and whatnot uh, and, 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 jo- and Joe Harris. Um, Josh, I could see a world. Josh Harris, I beg your pardon. Josh Harris, thank you. Um, I could, I could see a world in which they decide, hey Chicago, can we come up to one, bring Caleb Williams home, and Ryan Poles, in his calculated way, says, hey, I like Caleb Williams, but I like Jaden Daniels and Drake May just as much, or Drake May just as much. I'm perfectly happy moving down, creating, continuing to create generational wealth, the kind that I did not inherit when I came here, the kind that was not here when I came here and letting that number one pick from the Panthers continue to reap benefits and flip it and flip it over and over again, right? And, And take another quarterback also set up to succeed and yet pick up more and more assets. I think that evaluation process is still very much ongoing. The expectation is that it will be Caleb Williams, but it would not shock me. And and we've seen surprises before. It would not shock me if the commanders in particular made made a move to go up to one to get Caleb Williams at the price of an offer that Ryan Poles cannot refuse 
and then Ryan Poles pivots to another quarterback. When this shopping. is interesting. I, I'll tell when you it's interesting. You know, it, it's an interesting thought because, you know, Caleb Williams is the most, I guess he's the most decorated, but it's not, but, but Jaden Daniels has got a Heisman. You know I mean? It's not like, um, yeah, I mean, it's not like it's a huge, it's a huge gap, right? Between yep. number one and number two. And we know the Bears need a quarterback. In your scenario, they and still that's all they did, by the way. That's all they did. All they confirmed by trading Justin Fields was that they're taking a quarterback. It, they're taking a quarterback. Not which quarterback. Not, not which quarterback. Yeah, you know, it's yes. it's really a fair yes. point. And here's the other thing. Here's the other thing I think about. So most uh, the, most you know, I, I, I guess some teams switch it up, but I don't know. Most teams operate on an eight point scale. So you're 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 10 you're 10 out of 10 if you say oh she's a 10 he's a 10 in football it's he's an eight that's the highest so I don't think if Caleb Williams was like rated as like a 7.75 and Jaden Daniels was like a 6.75 these are still good scores. these are great scores both of them six seven five that's a starter mm -hmm. really good yeah then you wouldn't you wouldn't make a move but I get the sense that Caleb Williams might be like a seven and Jaden Daniels might be a 6.85. Okay, what if you like what if you like the 6.85 better for your circumstance, Michael Smith? Better for your circumstance and your system more than you like the other guy. And you could just trade, you can make a trade and get another first. It's Washington, it's still Washington, so you could you can play games with him and be like, "Hey, you want to come up from 2 to 1?" Uh, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you uh, a couple of picks. Uh, it's going to take your first next year, and we're going to need like, you know, second and a third. You keep that. You still hold on to nine, and you get a quarterback. I can see it. It makes sense. I mean, you and it could. It could. You got. So I think you got. If you're Ryan Poles in Chicago, you got to be so convinced. Well, and also it takes two to. To tango, it's like you know somebody got to want to come up to get him, and so I think it's it behooves you to not tip your hand in any way, and they haven't. I mean, it could just be a situation where like yeah, we drafted one of these quarterbacks, we're comfortable with one of them, we don't know which one yet, and nobody has Oof. to know which one. Wouldn't that be something? they're comfortable with? I I, I think it's going to be Caleb. Like if I if, if it were my bet, your money today, I would yeah. say it's Caleb. I would say it's Caleb. Um, but I could see a world in which somebody makes it interesting and gives them something to think about and said, huh? And he said, huh, you know what? Drake may like you said, Drake may is right there. Jay Daniels right there. Let's uh, let, let's let's pick Ooh, up like some more it. assets and, 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 and stock this cupboard uh, even more. Um, but, but here's a here's yeah. the last here's the last thing I'll say about Chicago. Uh, the reason. Omar Khan will not be executive of the year is because of Ryan, Ryan Poles. Poles. Ryan Poles <laughs> got the inside track on it right now. I mean, just all these these moves and it's not even of the year. It should be executive of of the last of the last two seasons. Really? As I mentioned <laughs> what he did last year and what he's done yeah. so far and that that meant that Keenan Allen is just that is a brilliant move for it a is. fourth rounder in the last year it of is. his contract. Then you got to get him into a you can get him to a new contract, as he said, as Keenan said. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm quarterback friendly. I love that quote. I'm quarterback friendly. I'm just always, I'm, I'm there on the field. I know how to run routes. I know how to beat man. I know, how, I know where the zones. I know what's happening, and I'm always there for yeah. a quarterback on the field yeah. and off the field. My body language. He said my body me. language is good too. Ask about me. That's a great Ask move. Ask about me. No, and it, it, yeah. you talked about the cautionary tale of, of 2021 which the Bears are obviously contributors to that cautionary tale. I, I think the best way to hedge your bet against a bust is to leave nothing to chance. And what Ryan yep. Poles has done smart is, is to say, because I mean, even last year, he could have gotten impatient and said, I mean, look, they may they may rue the day still that they didn't stay at one and take a CJ Stroud. Okay. Or they, they may rue the day that they didn't stay at one and take Anthony Richardson, depending yeah, on how it works out right. with whoever they take this year. Right. Having said that, though, Ryan realized 
We aren't ready for a quarterback. We're not ready to have children. We're not financially stable enough. We're not mature enough to have children. <laughs> We're not ready for a quarterback. And so he's so this to me is the surest way to guard against a quarterback mm. becoming the latest example of poor development and support is by like putting everything you got into helping him come into a situation where damn it if all you're throwing is 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 is, is, is bubble screens <laughs> and 50 50 balls. Yeah. I like your chances <laughs> with those two with more and Allen on the outside. I like that. I like those. I like your chance to say nothing about what else, whatever else they're going to do to shore off the offensive line or defense where you're not. Here's the thing about Caleb Williams. You know how many shootouts Caleb Williams lost? You know how many times Caleb Williams lost 45 42 and yeah, USC defense was, was terrible. They had, they had one of the worst That's defenses in, in, in the country last year. Let's 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 bring in what what a what a concept. Let's bring in a quarter. Let's bring a quarterback into a situation where not only does he have weapons on offense to put up points and to make his job easier, where he's protected up front, but let's get him a defense, a young defense, okay, with a defensive-minded coach, contrary to the way people think it's got to go, with a defensive-minded coach, to where he ain't playing from behind all the time, to where he ain't getting killed, to where he ain't under pressure. Let's get him a running game. Let's show up the backfield. Even though it didn't look like running back was a need, let's go get a running back for him. Let's go get a, a mm. running back that, that, you, that you could throw the ball to. You can check it down on DeAndre Swift. Let's get him a defense that will keep him in games, you know, to where other teams can't tee off on our rookie quarterback. It's just brilliant. It is a blueprint. It is an absolute yeah, is. blueprint on how to support a young quarterback. It's, it, you're right. It, Omar Khan you know might finish runner up to Ryan Poles. Because I can't think you of a better what, situation Mike? that a young quarterback has come into. Hey, thank you for watching Brother from Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.